So, the Miami Heat are up 3-0 against the Celtics, as we all predicted. And it was an absolute blowout. It was an embarrassment from the Celtics. They looked like they quit on this game. And it's it's disgusting. It was one of the worst performances I've seen in a long time from the Celtics. And if you don't count Phoenix, this was as embarrassing as it gets in the playoffs. But let's talk about the game. Let's not just shit on the Celtics. Let's talk about the game, what went wrong for them. And early on, it looked like they were gonna be game ready. They were pushing the pace. Jalen Brown got himself still some early mid-range shots that he made, which I thought was a good sign, but... <laughs> Well, spoiler alert, it was not a good sign as he com went completely cold. But the one thing that I've been repeating all series long is that they switch too easily and let Jimmy be just too comfortable out there. He is hunting Derek, Derek White, he is hunting Robert Williams, he is hunting matchups he likes. And I understand trusting your defense, but it's not worked all series long and you just let their best player be as comfortable as it gets, which... I said in the last video about this series that the same happened with Steph Curry last year where he was just too comfortable out there and he beat them by himself. This time it's more of a team effort, but you get the point. And Jimmy was a playmaker in this first quarter. He had like eight assists in this first quarter and was driving whenever he blown by Derek White, whether that was even Jalen Brown. But he was blown by by everybody. Going into the paint with the intention of passing it out into the corners where Max Struz was automatic, Gabe Vincent was automatic, even Kevin Love had a made 30 pointer before he got hurt, which we still don't know the extent of it. Um, Duncan Robinson obviously, even though that was in the la later quarters, and Caleb Martin. So that was clearly the strategy for the Heat and everybody got going, everybody caught a great rhythm. And then they started making some incredibly tough shots, which not much you can do about it, but at the same time, the Celtics effort probably didn't help it at all either. And what I liked early on from the Celtics is that they were a little more aggressive, trying to push the pace a little more, more aggressive to the basket. But in the end, it didn't matter because Jalen Brown just can't dribble to his left still. After last year, it was his biggest problem, and the same goes for Tatum. Their offhand encounters uh, and left hand dribbling are just a huge problem, and they lose the ball a lot by just dribbling badly. And not having a tight handle doesn't let Jalen Brown get to his spots easier. Uh, Tatum, I don't know even if he has his spots in a way because he just doesn't really have a I'm, I'm not sure if Tatum really has a sweet spot where you're like, yeah, give him the ball there and he's gonna make it. I think he's more of a just streaky shooter all over the, all over the place. Maybe I'm wrong there. I'm not sure. I have not stat checked if he has a spot. But I, you know, from observing and watching this season and these last couple of years, I just don't remember a spot where I'm like, yeah, this is Tatum's sweet spot. Maybe the top of the key three-pointer, but... Um, inside the arc, there's nothing there. And like I said, Jalen Brown dribbling out of control into Caleb Martin, into Jimmy Butler, into Cody Zeller, into Bam. It's just a recipe for disaster. Leads to fast break points, leads to turnovers. And the Heat, they just move the ball so beautifully. Just like in this play where it's the extra pass, it's the trust in these guys. Where Gabe Vincent made the extra pass, I'm pretty sure, with like nine minutes remaining. It was, I'm not sure to who, but... You know, it's all about the extra pass either way, and you have a wide open three pointer. Whether it was Caleb Martin or, Ma or Max Struess, they made it. So that's all that matters in the end. And what I was absolutely baffled by is that Duncan Robinson was just driving with ease. The guy was blowing by people. Like, what? what? Duncan Robinson? The three point specialist? The guy that has not played all year with DMPs was just blowing by Derek White, Jalen Brown, Grant Williams, Vidis. You just cannot tell me that's not an effort thing. It's just nasty. And the Celtics just got completely blown blown off the floor in this second quarter and essentially in every quarter after that. It was just an avalanche. The Celtics just seemed rattled, man. And I'm not sure how much do you want to blame this on the coach. Of course, the coaching discrepancy is huge in this series. And Joe Mazzula certainly has not had some incredible playoffs. But uh, is it a reflection of him that the players pretty much quit or looked like they quit and mentally just looked checked out? Or is it more about the players? I don't know. You tell me it's the NBA, but I wish I knew. I wish I knew. The one thing that the Celtics did well in that second quarter that they started sending some double teams at Jimmy Butler, but it was a little too late anyway. And then Butler, Jimmy, 
Jimmy adjusted in that third quarter where they were still kind of double teaming him and kicking it out much better to open guys. And <laughs> with the way they have been shooting, it was just cash money. And despite the Heat being out rebounded by like 20 rebounds, it didn't matter at all, man. And Marcus Smart had that end one at the start of the third quarter where I was like, maybe they're gonna show up, and then they just didn't. So, yeah. And they also had like five edibles in that first half, which is just incredible. And there's not much you can do when your guys are missing wide open shots also. The Celtics players had a lot of wide open shots that they were missing. They were getting blown by easily. They weren't contesting really well, and they weren't hustling their ass off as the Heat are. So it's a mismatch. I think this this thing has to be a sweep right now and I would be very surprised if it was not. Um, what I would like to see from the Celtics is a lineup without Al Horford, even though he was great defensively against Embiid, his offense was rough in that series also and he just looks out of touch. He just looks gassed and Jimmy Butler had another great trash talking moment against him, so that was awesome. Heat up 3-0 looking to sweep the series uh, on Wednesday and yeah if they do will have they have a, if they do they'll have a 10 day rest before the NBA finals start so that would be awesome for them 